What's going on YouTube? This is Sehaman back with another figure review. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the DC Feora Movie Masters figure based off of the Man of Steel. Now, from what I heard, this is gonna be one per case. So this is gonna be just like Jor-El. It's gonna be a uh, probably a tough figure to find for a while. Um, packaging is exactly the same as the the uh, three previous uh, Man of Steel figures, and I actually thought this this uh, next wave, if you want to call this a wave, was going to be released um, after the movie. But I'm actually surprised that uh, these these just hit stores. Um, I purchased mine at Frank and Sons Collectibles, but you can find them now at Walmart. I know people have been finding them, but um, looks like a really cool figure. Really happy to get this. Again, the packaging is exactly the same as the other ones, which is really a cool package so if you're if you're like a, uh, a min on card collector this is really cool you can see the background there has the um, suit of Superman of course they're gonna come with a base and uh, so that's pretty much it here on the back we got the other figures from the series there's Superman Feora and uh, General Zod with a Kryptonian armor which I'm gonna review next and a little read up here if you guys want to read that it tells you the little bio of um, the character and we're getting another Superman, which I believe is going to be a battle damage where, where he comes with uh, Kryptonite, I think. And then I think we're getting a Comic-Con exclusive two-pack. But, okay, let's take a quick break and we're going to take the figure outside of packaging, so stay tuned. Alright, so here we have Fiora outside of the packaging. This is, again, a nice figure. So far, all three figures that we got before these next two have been great, um, in my opinion. I know some people didn't like uh, some of the figures, but I think these figures are great. The cape looks awesome. And I mean, I think to me it looks like the head sculpt might be a little too big for the body. I don't know if it's just me, but either way, still looks good. Let's take a closer detailed look at the figure. Okay, so first things first, accessories. She does come with a base with her logo right there. And it just has one peg. You can see that. And it's got that little texture there. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool base there. It's a little small, but still, it's cool. Taking a look at Feora right here, we'll look at the head sculpt first. It is a nice looking head sculpt. Um, kind of looks like the actress that's playing this character a little bit. They did a good job in the eyes. Looks like she even has the mole right there, if you can make that out. Lipstick looks good. The skin color looks great. They did a great job in the hair as well. The camera almost fell right there. And um, the head sculpt looks good. Like I said, uh, it, it might seem like the head sculpt's a little too big for the body. Not too sure. You guys let me know. But that's what I think. Um, let's look at the cape. So the cape is a soft material, and it goes all the way down pretty much to the, to the bottom of her uh, feet. It's got really, really um, nice shading in there. The color on it's really cool. And it's got all these little wrinkles, like, you know, it needs to be ironed. It, it's, it looks great. It has um, a lot of great little detail on it. You don't see this in a lot of these um, types of uh, capes, especially in the uh, DCUC. And there's the inside there. Looking at her outfit, so this is what's going to be the uh, Kryptonian armor. You can see it's got a lot of, a lot of great little detail, a lot of little um, uh, nice little paint applications on it and then they also have the suit underneath which is just like Superman it has that um, like texturing on it and then here's the the boots she's got the peg holes at the bottom but really really nice uh, detail going on and it looks like right here there's a little sword if you can see that or a little blade I'm not sure if that's gonna come out no, it's just a soft material. It looks like if you were to pull this off, it'd really break off very easy. So that's just for looks. Get a close up on her belt. Really, really cool. This is a very nice figure. The Movie Masters, um, uh, Batman were my, was my favorite one. The Green Lanterns were kind of a disappointment, but these Superman ones or Man of Steel ones are great. Got a lot of great detail on her armor. I mean, you have to really um, like have the the figure in hand to really appreciate it. Let's look at the uh, center there. Really cool. Now let's go with her articulation. So the arms do go in and out. These shoulders don't really, this is a soft material here on the shoulder padding so it allows the arms to go in and out forward and back. She's got a bend at the bicep, rotation in the upper arm. Uh, the wrist can rotate and I think it can go in and out. No, can go in and out. 
She's got little hands, and uh, the other arm is exactly the same. And again, this part is rubber, so you, it doesn't hinder the articulation. You can get the arms all the way in and out, forward and back. She's got a waist swivel, no ab crunch. Legs go in and out, forward and back, a bend at the knee. Uh, Mid-leg rotation. Foot can go up and down. And that's pretty much it. They got some new articulation going on with these figures um, as far as you know the Mattel stuff goes for DC, but it's still a great figure, guys. I highly recommend it. This is hitting stores, um, so check your Walmarts, check your Toys R Us, and again, I think this, this figure is one per case from what I heard, so you might want to go early to snag these before the scalpers. All right, guys, this is Sahaman. Hope you enjoyed the review. We'll see you guys later.